My name's Richard Wingate and I'm one of the tutors on Dev Neuro Academy. I'm a neuroscientist and I've been working for the last 20 years on the development and the evolution of a structure called the cerebellum and that's a part of the brain that's involved in both sensory processing but also motor control and also it's become more recently apparent that's involved in cognition as well. So a really interesting part of the brain that we really don't know that much about. Um, so I went to school in London, I went to a state primary school, but my parents sent me to a private secondary school. So I had a very good and privileged education, I would think. Uh, and then I went to Manchester University. Um, in between uh, Manchester University and school, I had a year um, traveling and went to work in a laboratory in Australia, which was a really interesting experience and probably um, kind of stimulated my uh, passion for traveling to different labs and doing work in different places around the world. So um, when I came out of Manchester University, I went to my PhD at Oxford University, uh, which is four years of really intense study on one part of the brain. In this case, it was all about the visual system. And then after that, I came to London and then went to New York and then back to London again. And uh, as, as much as possible, I've tried to travel, see different labs, go to conferences in different places. And most recently, the last couple of years, I've been spending quite a lot of time going to Bangalore and India and working with uh, people out there. I'm also really interested in public engagement. That's talking about science to the general public. And I edit a, a website called brainfacts.org, which um, is stories about science for science interested public. And it's run by something called the Society for Neuroscience. So um, over the last 20 years as well, I've also worked with a lot of artists and um, that's proved to be a really interesting way of looking at how science is communicated um, because that artistic perspective or seeing the world through um, the world's the eyes of a visual artist or uh, perhaps a theatre artist or a sound artist really does help you think about what science does when it looks at the world as well so I found that incredibly valuable. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and um, working on Dev Neuro Academy so well done for getting on and um, yeah, it's gonna be a really, really good week. Okay.